black person in the street. Man, we, it's no reason why we should walk down the street and look over our shoulders because the police car is coming. It's no reason why we should be in the store and we get followed around the store because we are black. We should be black in America and be free and not get washed over like dogs. So we're going to stand up to these police officers and we're going to tell them you're going to put an end to police brutality. You're going to stop killing our kids. You're going to stop beating our kids. I went to jail for five days. Five times I went to jail for protesting in the street. And every night I got out of jail, I went back in the police face. That shows them that I don't care about them. You can lock me up all you want to, but the next, day, the next time I get out of jail, I'm going to be right back in your face. The next time I get beat, and get out of the hospital, I'm gonna be right back in your face. Cause I was beaten too, okay? We was doing the Ferguson protest and we was marching with the chief. And uh, the chief started marching, other officers rushed in, they started attacking the people. I was got beat on the ground. So they took me to jail, I checked out, they checked me into the hospital. Cause you know I'll take some injuries, but um. <laughs> but anyways, after that hospital visit, I went right back out there that same night in their face. They didn't like it at all. So these people you see on this stage right here, this is my protest family. This is my protest family right here. Y'all all are my family right here. So you know I got a pretty big family. So watch how what I want y'all to do is put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. That is the sign of surrender. The cops don't know that. They don't understand that we are surrendering. But they, instead they took a young man's life. Instead they shot all through that man's body. And that next day he was about to be in college. That next day sitting in his college seat earning his education. He didn't understand that he took Leslie's son away from her. her. Now, she got to spend all the holidays without her son. They don't understand how hard it is to have a family member taken away from you with bullets. So, but we, need to, we just need to tell them to stop doing this stuff, man. Because we all want a life. We all want to live. We all want to see our kids. We all want to see our kids grow up. And we all want to see our kids have an education. We want to make it, okay? So, don't forget us when we go back to Ferguson. Y'all come catch a plane back to Ferguson, protest with us. Cut the train back, okay? So, um, I'm gonna end this with this. I see a lot of good signs. I can't breathe, murder is illegal. You took an oath to protect, not to kill. I see that, that's nice. Now, okay, I see that too, that's nice. No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. No justice. No peace. Heads up. Don't shoot. Heads up. Don't shoot. Heads up. Don't shoot. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. All right, I love y'all, man. <laughs> I'm originally from North Carolina, but I've been a Washingtonian for the past 10 years. I'm one of the people that's been out here in the streets every night. I'm one of the organizers who shut down 395, that shut down 14th Street, and I'm shutting down the streets every single night. I want to tell you why we're out here shutting down these streets. 